It's Friday, fool! And you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool! You need this tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. So this week's tool I've had a lot of questions about. Uh, just featured them in a video of the Bibster. Was making some cantilevers for the Mustang hot rod build. The Fox Body Hot Rod build. And I use these tools basically to flare some holes in the metal. It does two things. With a hole there, you can make it lighter, but when you actually put that flare in there, it gives it more strength, more rigidity, instead of that being just a single piece of plate steel, you've now made it three-dimensional instead of just two dimensions. It kind of gives it that third dimension, makes it extra stiff, extra strong, and you know, they just look damn cool. And that is the dimple die. So, this is a dimple die, basically. It just presses this little lip onto plate steel. Comes in all kinds of sizes. Now the reason I bring this up, because I've done a Friday video on something similar to this before. And that was the punch and flare dies. So this is a punch and flare die. It basically does the same thing. It has its own dimple die effect. Um, the difference is this will actually punch the hole for you. All you have to do is drill a big enough hole for the, uh, the bolt or the, the receiver to go through and then this particular one will punch the hole and flare it at the same time. Kind of give you this effect here. So these are the punch and flares and then uh, these are the punch and beads. So I've got a bead die as well. These come in all kinds of different sizes. I have done a Friday video on these. If, if putting these kind of holes in sheet metal is something you'd be interested in, I'll drop you a little link right here. You can go check that video out. The difference between these and these bad boys is these are made for sheet metal. Okay, These will punch and flare. Obviously, that's one of the differences. But these aren't made to do thick sheet steel. Um, you know, like eighth inch. You know, some of the bigger thick stuff those are not made for. Those are just made for sheet metal. These bad boys are made for the thick stuff. Now just like those, these come in all kinds of different sizes. You can get them all the way down to... Whoa! You can get them all the way down to like a half inch hole. So this is made for a half inch hole and then it will actually put the flare around that. And I have them in increments of a half inch all the way up to two and a half, I believe. So half inch, one inch, inch and a half, two inch, and this big boy, which is two and a half inch, I believe. I'm thinking that's two and a half inch. The actual flare itself is much bigger than that, but the hole is for a two and a half inch hole. Now, the way that you would work these because it doesn't do a punch and flare is you drill the hole with like a hole saw or if you're having parts cut that you know you're gonna flare, you just kind of have those cut with those size holes in it. That's kind of what I did on the Bibster project. I just had half inch, one inch, and one and a half inch holes cut, pre-cut with the CNC plasma. And then once I got those, I knew that they'd be ready for these. Now, like I said, there's a difference between these and those. Those are for sheet metal, these are for plate steel. These are usually made of a more robust material, a tool steel, 
um, you know, some kind of tungsten material, something that's a lot stronger than what these would be because these, you have to use a press to manipulate the holes. Because the plate is so strong and thick, you actually have to use a press to press it together. Now I have a 20 ton press and on some of the bigger ones, that 20 ton press um, is struggling a little bit to really get the flare done like it's supposed to. So just keep that in mind as well. I think when you get into these big two and two and a half inch flares, depending on the size of the sheet metal or the plate steel, I shouldn't call it sheet metal, the plate steel, you're gonna really need some uh, press power, if you know what I mean. The thing that's really rad about these and these is that just with a couple sets of these things, you can really make some really nice custom stuff, right? You can put a bead in something, you can put a flare in something if it's sheet metal, you can put a, you know, a, you can dimple die if it's plate steel, if you're making some kind of suspension components or some braces. Um, you see them a lot in the drifting world where they're putting the dimple dyed, you know, sections that tie the cage into the body. You can do that kind of stuff. It's easy to get carried away as well. But done tastefully, it really makes a big difference on what your project is gonna look like in the end. And the great thing is, they're not very expensive. So this set of five dimple dies, I think was around the $200 mark. You can buy them individually if you know that you don't want a big one. If you just want one particular size, you can buy those individually. Um, these punch and flare die sets aren't very expensive either. As always, I'll drop you some links in the description. You can go check these out, see if it's something you might be interested in. And uh, as you can see, I mean, you can put a little flavor on whatever project you're working on pretty easily. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this week. The dimple die, go check them out. Um, if you don't want to spend the 200 bucks, buy the one that you feel like you would use most and then just kind of build, build up your supply as you go. It's always an option. I just went for the big boy because I knew how I would, I knew what would happen, what always happens, is that I wouldn't have what I needed. So I just bought them all. Haven't used them all yet, but I'm sure it'll happen at some point. I do have some more updates on the Bibster. I've got a bunch of film just sitting there ready for me to edit. Been kind of sick, so that's why you didn't get one this week. Try to get it up next week. But anyway, there you go, the dimple die. Hope you enjoyed that. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more next week. It's Friday, fool. Thank you.